Okay, so first off, I want you to check out this Lehigh Valley 2020 Nichemen uh, video on YouTube, which is our What's So Cool About Manufacturing entry. Now, during this video, I want you to take notice, obviously, of the beginning scene, which is a, a skit, and the ending scene, which, again, resorts back to the skit. So I'm going to storyboard the beginning and the end of this video and then eventually fill in the rest with the material from the actual manufacturing plant. So what I did was I created a slides document and I'm going to share this document with all of my team members and Mr. Brzezinski. Then I start to create and I use the, the techniques that are also on the video for animation that Mr. B used in sixth grade, but you can resort back to the video. I will post it on your assignment here. So I can choose a background or I can simply drop a photograph in the back. So the video is I want to start off with a shot of Nichman. So I quickly grab a hold of a shot of Nichman and I'm not looking for perfection here. What I'm looking for is something quick easy and something that I could just rifle through. I could do stick figures. I could do whatever it takes, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to write little notes here about how the slides are going to be. So I have the opening scene, slide one will be the outside of Nichemen. I'll be setting the stage. That will be my wide shot to show where the action is taking place. And I said, oh, I'm going to Photoshop the school to look like a hospital and uh, get, some, get some good music. Then I go to scene one, uh, a busy ER, hustling and bustling and, and this and that. So I have down here um, the action, uh, the location, the dialogue, the mic, the lighting. If I need anything in these areas. Okay, so I have the props. This is what I'm going to need for this scene. Whatever I need, I'm going to put in the bottom here. And I want you to fill in as much as you can. So according to my project course here, it says, hey, put this. So I can copy and paste this lineup right here to the notes for each slide. And then I just start to fill it in. Okay, so I'm going to say it's a busy ER room, blah, 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 blah. Now, if I have another scene, I come down like this. We have a doctor. We have a pit. And I'm kind of just fleshing out the idea of what the shots might look like. And obviously, this was the door to the library at Nichemen. Doesn't matter. I'm going to just get a picture, a background, an image, and I'm going to put it on the background. If I have close-ups, which I eventually do, you know, like, so this is a close-up of the person and the patient, whatever, you know, the doctor and the patient, and I'm just going to zoom in, make the person larger on my screen to show that this is a close-up shot like this, right? Or, or this person is saying. I can also use speech bubbles by going to the shapes and doing callouts, okay, then I could put in my dialogue to who's saying what instead of putting this down here for the dialogue, or I could put it in both areas right here so I could do callouts. I'm simply getting these pieces of clip art from the insert image and search the web, or I could just go to YouTube images and find, and I'm not looking for something that actually looks like the person that is going to be playing that as an actor. I'm just looking for a stand-in. I'm looking for a doctor. I did say I search up doctor, I find an image, I throw it in. Okay, so I do have some techniques on that animation to get rid of white backgrounds just in case you had something that... Um, was really important that you needed a special piece of clip art that had the white background around it and you couldn't find it in the insert image for search from web, you could also get rid of that white background that way. I can also find pieces of clip art possibly that show an expression. And this 
character could change throughout depending on what you know what what expression I, I can't find an expression of of sadness or whatever but I could write down down here that there's sadness there's um, urgency there is whatever like um, feeling that I'm going for I could write that down here in my action and if I had to I could also use a piece of clip art that shows the expression right there so as you see here, I have, uh, here's what happens, here's what happens again in this scene, blah, blah, blah. And then I just use this stand-in clip for the middle part, which you might not even have in your, you know, this is kind of maybe like a wild card. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but I'm using this slide. And you could do those if you need to throughout your document. And then I have the last scene. Here's what's happening. The doctor revisits recovering patient and uh, location, blah, 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 and I put in the information. Again, the things that I'm going to need with the props, mic, using the lighting, you know, um, if I'm going to use a boom mic over top of the person, whatever it is. So you can see how this storyboard kind of relates to the video for what's so cool about manufacturing. And then I just add in a couple extra scenes. So I have the general basis of what I'm going to do when I'm going to call action. And then I start to look for the composition techniques used in the um, how to make home video composition parts, where I'm looking for, for angles. I'm looking for wide shots. I'm looking for close-ups. I'm looking for reaction shots, like you might see here. You know close-ups right on her face. I could see the desperation in her face. Those are the types of scenes that are really going to make your video come together. So check out the video, head over, start your storyboard. Um, remember to put me down on it and I should be able to, and then share the link with me and I should be able to jump in there and uh, help you out with it as well. If you have some questions, let me know and uh, hopefully we can get this done quickly.